We present a novel method to enable the use of anti-aliased reflectance models in global illumination renderers. To efficiently render the directly visible appearance of complex materials, such as the glitter on the left snail shell, previous work has shown how to anti-alias reflectance models based on the projected pixel footprint at the surface of objects. However, when rendering indirect effects, such as the glossy reflection of the left snail shell off of the right snail shell, the indirect footprint we require for anti-aliasing is undefined. We present a novel method to estimate the indirect pixel footprint at each vertex of a light path. Our algorithm works as follows. Given an input filter from either the sensor or the light, we propagate surface footprints across indirect bounces during transport, accounting for all types of surface reflection interactions. To estimate the propagated surface footprints and devise appropriate global illumination filters, we modify covariance tracing, tracking the second-order statistics of the pixel filter in the frequency domain, here shown for a 2D spatial angular slice of the full 4D spectrum. We update this covariance structure during ray tracing to account for transport until we reach a surface interaction. At this point, we use the covariance to compute a ray differential appropriate for pre-filtering the local appearance. For indirect bounces, we update the covariance structure to account for the reflection and then continue propagation. We further extend our method to bidirectional light transport simulation. Here, when forming a bidirectional connection, the reflectance from the connecting endpoints must be pre-filtered according to the combination of the light subpath and the eye subpath footprints. Please refer to the paper for all the technical details. Here are some of the results of our technique, which we apply atop the local reflectance model filtering approach of Jan et al. in order to anti-alias complex appearance from high-resolution normal maps. In this example, the left snail shell is composed of high-frequency, randomly distributed oriented microflakes. However, note how smooth the indirect reflection of this surface appears off the right snail's glossy shell. At equal time, path tracing with ray differentials cannot converge given the difficulty of forming the indirect connections off the glossy right shell to the glittery left shell and finally onto the high energy regions of the distant environment map. In this example, the spoon that is indirectly visible off of the astronaut's visor has many small-scale scratches that intricately reflect a directional light source off in the distance. Path tracing with ray differentials is again unable to connect the perturbed micro-scale reflection to the light due to its inability to properly handle paths with glossy reflection events. Lastly, we illustrate our bidirectional path tracing filtering method. In this scene, the same scratched spoon from the astronaut scene is illuminated exclusively from the indirect caustic arriving through the displacement mapped glass ornament on the right. Even at low sampling rates, where visible noise still exists, we are able to capture the overall appearance of the spoon. In equal time, standard bidirectional path tracing algorithms fail to capture the highlights. Here, in under two hours, our approach captures the complex secondary high-frequency reflections of the caustic lighting along the length and bowl of the spoon. These visual cues are completely missing from the equal time bidirectional path tracing rendering, and a ground truth 24-day bidirectional path tracing rendering is necessary to obtain the same visually converged results as our approach. Thank you for your time and your attention.